What is TVP? That's the most common question whenever we use it here on the channel. You may have seen it in our previous recipes such as our very loved vegan nuggets, chorizo, and chili, which I will link those recipes down below, as well as our vegan meats playlist, which is filled with delicious vegan meat substitutes, which I know you will love. But yeah, the possibilities for TVP are endless, so let's talk about it. TVP's generic name is Total Soy Protein, or TSP, which actually makes more sense because it contains a derivative of soybeans rather than actual vegetables. But go figure. TVP is a factory processed food product that is nearly impossible to make on your own because you need heavy machinery in order to isolate or separate the soy protein from other components found in the whole soybean. The defatted soy protein is then compressed into granules or chunks and usually dried and then rehydrated before cooking. The most common TVP found in stores is textured vegetable protein flakes, but they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. A few more popular items are the soy curls and the soy chunks, which could be used in stir fries, stews, made into nuggets, and that's just to name a few. Also, if you think you've never had textured vegetable protein before, think again. TVP is commonly found in beef hamburgers as meat extenders, which is basically what we think of as fillers. Except in the food industry, fillers are considered to be high in carbohydrates, whereas TVP is high in protein. Wait, have I lost you yet? Are you following? Okay. And the TVP is commonly found in meatballs and sausages, amongst other things, in the food industry in order to bulk up the food's weight and keep prices down. So it's highly likely that you've had it before and you just didn't realize it because it's so good at disguising itself as meat. Therefore, the perfect meat alternative. And at this point, I know you might be wondering, well, is it safe rose? And that really just depends on where you stand, whether you are pro-soy or anti-soy, but at the end of the day, it is a very processed food, so either way, you want to eat it in moderation. I hope this video has been informative to you. If you would like to see more TVP recipes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you would like to see more vegan meat substitute recipes, don't forget to click the link right here. It is a full list of my vegan meat recipes, which I'm pretty sure you will love. At least one of them, I, I, I'm sure, I'm sure of it. So check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up. I will talk to you guys soon. I love you. Bye.